Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Irina Baloto, and I am going to take you through this presentation. It's a presentation for Group 5. Let me just share my screen so you'll see um, what we prepared for this presentation. So in Group 5, um, the group members are Hassan Ahmed, Irina Baloto, that is me, Esther Namirimu, Rachel Nakagolo, Joseph Elonia, and Colin Sorono. So there's the the presentation is going to focus mainly on how journalists in sub-Saharan sub Africa are engaging with generative AI. Of course, we'll give you some examples. And also, if you look at this picture right here, it's generated using AI. So it's interesting that um, there's so much that journalists can do nowadays, especially using AI. Um, if you analyze this picture, then you'll probably understand that um, AI can do a lot more um, than we can ever imagine. But of course, also taking into account fake news and all the other information that come with it, we're going to be discussing all that. So for a background, um, this presentation, of course, is based on a study that was done. And um, we are basically just analyzing it to see how um, AI as a tool is being researched and is also being used by journalists uh, to do their work. So. Chat GTP, for instance, is um, one of the many AI tools that are available. But if you are to define uh, generative AI, Kasim Jaffery, a travel technology specialist, uh, defines generative AI or generative artificial intelligence as a class of artificial intelligence systems capable of generating new content. And often this is in the form of text, images, audio, and other types, and, and other types of data. So. So um, these systems, they uh, use advanced algorithms and models of, to understand patterns and structures to input or uh, um, in input data and they create new original content based on that understanding. So if the, 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 the if chat DTP has been trained, it then gives you information based on what was fed into it. So we have information that was last updated um, as per 2022, but that is up to February of 2022. That is what chat GPT 3.5 is having right now. I don't know who is using GTP4, but most of the information is within the time frame up until 2024, February 2023. I mean, February 2022. Okay, guys, so I'm just giving this as a sample for you to understand what is expected of us and how we're going to be doing this presentation. So I hand it over to you. Um, I hand it over to you, Colin. Collins, if you think this is something that you're able to do for the group, for the team, let me know. Or if you want me to like go right ahead um, and continue with the presentation, yes, then I, I, I will do so. But as of now, yes, this is it. And it's um, as simple as that. You just need to understand what you're going to do and then do it. Thank you. I will stop sharing and also stop the the recording and everything. I'll share this with you people in a moment. <laughs> 